Hey guys, it's Denise. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I was going to film part two of my tour. Oh, hi. <laughs> today I was going to film part two of my balcony tour, but it was like torrential downpours so bad. So I got all set up to film today's video, which is going to be a plant stuff haul video. Um, it was like my second choice. And then. It got sunny and not just a little bit of sun we got full sun on all my plants and they were covered in water it was sideways raining just look up Toronto rainfall or something on Google and you will see how much rain we have had obviously we're not flooded our sink has been backing up but we are not flooded um, but downtown Toronto got it really really bad I don't live there thankfully so but I do feel bad for everyone who's living there it looked brutal uh, but so it's been torrential downpour and then sun and downpour and sun so my plans got a little thrown off but we're gonna go ahead and film a haul on some stuff that I got today which shall we film right now let's just film in this direction um I don't normally do like stuff haul videos but this stuff I have been waiting for to go on sale all spring and summer um shoppers drug mart in Canada is like um I don't know they, it's like a beauty store also a grocery store sort of and like they have um, seasonal items stuff like that so they had some stuff that as soon as I saw it in maybe April I was like oh my gosh I love this so much I don't normally buy stuff like this so we're gonna have to wait till it goes on sale and I know shoppers drug mart always puts their stuff on sale so I just waited and waited and waited and I was super patient and finally the stuff went on sale so we're gonna start off with um, two planters that I think are so cute so so cute um, I don't have anything like this but I absolutely love them so I'll just bring you over here Ooh, was my chair um, so they're two teacup-esque planters very very big they could probably hold an eight inch pot no problem maybe even a 10 inch and they were 20 something i forget how much at the beginning of the season so i ended up getting them for i believe more than 50 percent off um which is amazing i actually had andrew pick them up for me because they don't dry um so and i don't remember exactly how much but more than 50 percent off and yeah they are made out of actually know what this is is this plastic is this it must be some sort of plastic but there's no drainage hole but um, we're gonna change that I think <laughs> so I can play it directly in it or I'll just use a pot because I'm not exactly sure what to do but I would love any input you guys have on what you think would look amazing in this um, I definitely think succulents would be the right choice unless I'm just putting an actual pot in and then I can use a house plant um, I haven't ever done a houseplant tour though, so you guys don't know what type of houseplants I have. There's a few. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think succulents would be a good choice. So I really love this one. It's a rose. It's red and green. I love colors. I love these colors. Uh, I, say, I say that a lot. I love colors. I say that it's just like a blanket statement. And um, it's just kind of ridiculous. But And then there's this one which has more of like an ivy, yeah, that's an ivy leaf, an ivy motif, and the door's a little bit bigger, which I do like, and it's a little bit, you know, scuffed up, it's been in the store for a while, but oh my gosh, what potential, eh? Oh, I just kind of picture my ZZ plants in it. Um, but yeah, so the, I got those, I think they're amazing. Um, I wanna put them outside. Like, ugh, I don't know. It's always a dilemma because I don't want something to get ruined. But I do have a balcony, so less potential of that happening. Um, maybe we'll go get a plant and stick it in the planters and see what it looks like. Okay, so I have grabbed my peace lily. Um, it's, I, <laughs> funny story about peace lilies. I've had them for so long, not this plant, but my mom has part of a plant I've probably had for 15 years. And they hate, hate, hate their life every summer and I feel so bad like you can tell I take care of my plants like nice leaves like I really try to treat it right but every summer it just is not happy and then as soon as autumn comes happy peace lily happy loving life and then summer comes around again eh, I struggle there's, there's some struggling happening but anyways I think I have it in a good spot now and it's it's a little happier 
that is the rose planter with the peace lily in it. I actually think that looks really good with a tropical plant in it. Huh. That's a clay pot I have in there, so I don't think that would work well. But with a plastic pot, I think it would do really well. So I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should I maybe use these inside for my tropical house plants, or should I use them for succulents? So let's try to find a plant for the other one. Okay, so now I have my rubber plants, baby, it's the little one in this pot. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this would not be the plant that I would pick for this pot. Doesn't look great. Why did I choose this plant? Because I really wanted to update you guys on it. <laughs> it's pretty much the only reason I chose that plant. Um, when I bought this plant, probably two months ago, honestly June I think, it only had the baby leaves down here and the three leaves here that were much smaller. So since then, it has done this first leaf, which I tracked on Instagram. I know that, uh, oh no, this back leaf here. I tracked its progress on Instagram and I know that Ray especially really enjoyed my daily photos of that. Um, so, I'm so sorry Ray did not keep up with that, <laughs> um, but it did also put out this leaf and then this beautiful one here. And this one I can tell is gonna be the biggest one yet because it's new. And when it popped open, it already had the sheath with the green on the top. So that means like it's really not gonna take that much longer until I get another leaf. So this plant has officially doubled in size and I just can't get over how fast it's growing and how happy it is. This was one of my favorite plant purchases of this year because I missed my old rubber plant so much and Ruby is not letting me down here. But it looked really bad in that. So if you guys have any tips on what to actually put in this, I would love it. And there are a few other things, so I'm just gonna go put her away and I'll be right back. This was one of the items as well I was absolutely waiting all summer for. Um, I really, really love animals, like all animals, like passionately. And turtle back there um, so I really really like animal stuff and then when I saw this turtle that had succulents on it fake fake succulents as if you would have thought those are real um, but it's just so beautiful it has like the sedum semper vivums echeveria uh, blah, 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 blah. what else is there I don't know <laughs> but it's just absolutely so me and so cute look at his little face hello he's so cute so I didn't like at first I just thought it was this did not realize it was a plant stand, even bought it and didn't realize it was a plant stand. Last night, I was just looking at this top and it's like a big geoid, geode they're called, I think. Um, but yeah, anyways, and I'm like, that's, that's a plant stand. And I just couldn't believe that I didn't realize. So yeah, this is gonna go outside for sure because plant stands, you know, I need them outside for sure. So I'm going to go get yet another plant that is not on the table, just to make this a video still filled with plants. And we'll see what it looks like on Mr. Turtle. Okay, so there he is with a lovely peperomia on him. Um, definitely works as a plant sand. It would be awesome on that table even. I am gonna take it outside for the summer, but it's just so cute. You just back it up there. That is just adorable, and I love that it has succulents. And um, I actually, I guess it would be one too many turtles on this table if I kept them on here. But yeah, that is that. That's again from Shoppers Drug Mart. If you are Canadian, the sale's probably still on. So if you like this stuff, definitely run out and get it. Um, I can't guarantee it'll be the exact same 50% uh, off or more at your location, but hopefully. Uh, also, frogs. I'm obsessed with frogs. Ever since I was a teenager and had maybe 20 plus frogs in my bedroom of all different types. Um, I've always just loved them. I have a frog right now. <laughs> and so this little dude on a little piece of bark there, yeah, totally a frivolous purchase, but I think it's just gonna go in my garden so well. So I don't need a plant to show you off this guy. He is just a frog. So again, if you're interested in these items, Shoppers Drug Mart has their end of season sale on, so definitely go check them out. And I did pick up a few other pots that I fell in love with at the nursery. So I'll just grab those and I will show you them too. 
Okay, so these are the pots that I got at my local nursery, Sheridan Nurseries. I originally went and I got this sort of like an, the lighting is not that great, but it's like an orange color, definitely orange and like a maroon. Oh, there we go. You can definitely see it there, orange and maroon, and it has just beautiful color, just beautiful. I love the way it's was glazed or painted or whatever, however they do this. I just absolutely loved it. So I got this one and a dark blue one. And then like it took me maybe 15 minutes to know that I had fallen in love with these pots and I wanted to get some more. Um, they do have a drainage pole. Absolutely love that. And just the size is perfect for so many plants that I have. So, and they were really inexpensive. They were seven, well, for at least for Canada and for what I'm used to paying, so they were $7.99, but they're so, they're really nice and they're big. So, well, they're hand size. Um, definitely would fit a, six inch pot I would think so I did get the as I said the orange one and there's like a dark gray one outside and then also this one here this light one that is a different texture it's actually a stone texture um, whereas the other ones have the glazed shiny look you see all the see all the beautiful colors in there that's why I couldn't help myself it was just I fell in love with them and then this one here has got the blues and the greens and they're all unique. So they all have like different areas where things aren't perfect, if that makes sense. But that just draws your eye in more to those areas. So maybe sit like there, and then this one sit there. I don't know if you guys are interested in this stuff. Um, I don't, yeah, as I said, I don't normally do this, but it just, right now I happen to have quite a few things and I thought I would share them. And this one, it reminds me of eyeshadow. Like, I have definitely had a few eyeshadows that were in this sort of chrome, purpley, metallic -y. I think it's chrome? I don't know how, I don't know what you would call this, but it has shades of pink, purple, and like blues, a little bit different than the other ones. Now the problem is I don't want these pots to take away from the succulents that I put in them. I am putting succulents in them. However, I'm trying to think like in my head what will really show things off. So. This one, the orange one, I'm thinking a Kalanchoe Tomatosa Chocolate Soldier, maybe. Um, any, any other suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Um, here's the ones here. It's not that I can't be creative myself. I just love hearing what you guys think. I mean, I, I, sometimes there's ideas that I would never think of that are you know, super helpful and super awesome. So yeah, I got those. There's one outside that has a plant in it already, but that is part of another video. So I'm not gonna include that in this one. And yeah, that's it. You guys have a wonderful day. I am going to get outside and see how my plants are. Um, that's it. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.